bow. I feel a little uncomfortable. I don't know. Am I right for tonight? Am I like fly like that? You know, I'm, check me out, man. Maybe you should have hired a customer for the night. Sounds like a good idea. One phone call away. I'm telling you, <laughs> just one call. There it goes. What it goes. Are you disexcited or are you just acting it? Like you were seriously excited or something? You think if I went through the trouble of spending 500 pounds just to get this on this special night and you ask me if I'm thinking, don't try me, you. <laughs> I could just bust your mouth there. Okay. Huh. All right. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm, well, I'm going to sit here and watch how the whole shit spells out. Well, let me pick my phone call. Hey. Hey. Are you going to keep a lady waiting? No. How dare me keep you waiting? Look, I'm sorry. I'm going to be there in a split second. Then, come pick me up, baby. Okay. I'll be there very soon, all right? Later. <laughs> oh, oh, player, player. Oh, come on, buddy. I thought you said you've quit playing games. So, who is uh, Lily Spiff? Who's Spiff yeah. is a no Spiff. <laughs> She's a nobody. Excuse me? <laughs> come on, nobody don't do messages, I mean. Especially when it sounds very passionate, you know, and spells out passion. Give me, give me, give me. Deal with this quickly. I am. I will see you later. I am busy. Come on, shut down. Let's go. <laughs> shut down, please. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, shut down. He's the one that asked for us to chat tonight, so why is he being so funny? And he says there that he's online, so obviously he's online. Here it comes. <sighs> Trust me, no man can be sent message with this hat with romantic fingers of mine. And with the really? <laughs> what does he say? Open it. Open it. I'm busy right now. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Someone told me that this is how these so-called superstars behave. Relax. Don't get yourself worked up. He could be on set, you know. Set my fine ass. I mean, <laughs> that's what they always claim I hear. How much does he get to be on set anyway? Derek is a big boy. He makes more than one million per movie. Look, Lily Spiff is a big girl. I'll pay him times two. No, times three. What am I saying? I'll pay him times five of that. If he'll just pay me a little attention. You can't wait to lay your hands on that guy, can you? <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, those lips. Ooh, darling, the things I could do with lips. <laughs> God forgive me. Are you sure Daddy Darius is not is dropping on us again? He wouldn't dare. That's why I prefer the old shoe. Well, you're going to have to use the new one. <sighs> Let me help you. Just look at it simple, like this. You put it in like this, and then you tie it. My God. How long is it going to take you to learn how to make your shoes? Hello, girl. I'm on my way. Presley isn't helping me at all. The manager. Why? I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Bye, yeah, bye. Come on, Auntie. That's not fair. I've been ready since. Really? <laughs> well, my dear, you wouldn't call this ready, would you? Presley. It's your shoes. Don't you say you're ready? <laughs> I got it. My goodness, was that you? <laughs> Pressing the bell like that? Were you trying to break it? 
to home for crying out loud. So I got his number. Can you just tell me? Well, since you can't remember, I shall remind you. I am Lily Spears. Lily You were suddenly as ego. You have forgotten me entirely. No, uh, uh, it's just that I will, don't get offended, okay? I was up late last night and uh, my brain is a little slow, I'm drowsy. Me. Oh, are you in a production? Production? I mean, shooting, isn't that what you guys it? No, no, not at all. Uh, I'm sorry, listen, Lady Spiff, where did we meet? That's the governor's daughter. Hmm? From my governor's daughter. I can't hear you. Is someone there with you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, my PA. Okay, so um, you and I have been chatting on the net for a while, and you know, with my friend, I. Um, you what, Lady Lily, right? Can I? Oh, would can I? Call um, are you sure you'll call me back, or should I just call you back in an hour? Let's see. Or oh, whatever. Why can't he give me a little attention? Is this how he behaves with his fans? Goodness. Ugh. Come on, Lily. You are not a fan, you're a desperate lover. Whatever. So <laughs> yeah, hello. Uh, hold on, hold on, please. Sorry, you have a call, sir. Um, Melvin, sir. Victor. Sir. Give me some nice clothes. Put a combination together. Alright, sir. Wake me up. Okay, the talk forum between the governor cross section of youths, which you expected to give some kind of credibility and publicize the whole story. Sorry, just go ahead. Go ahead, please. Is there a caller I need to know? There is nothing you need to know about the caller. It's an irrelevant call. Okay? Don't be distracted. Go ahead. I'm not the one being distracted here. Well, then let me deal with my stuff. Let me deal with mine. Just go ahead with why you invited me. I don't think you truly understand the meaning of an artist manager. Yes, I understand the job of an artist and that includes the manager not being distracted by an artist's stream of phone calls. Neither is that manager supposed in his artist's private affairs. Now Melvin, I'm sure you know your bounds. Can you just go ahead? I heard about BC Coca's melodrama at the Chinese restaurant last yes, night. Yes, I knew you would have heard that because you always listen to the bad things. The bullshit. Keep your ears on the ground for the nonsenses. You know, if that would be all, just let me know so I can just move to some reasonable things, please. I don't have time for all of this. <laughs> Who is, uh... Lily Spiff. How do you mean? You mean you? Yeah. Who is she? Like this. 
is one of the richest single lady we have in this country. Her father used to be the governor of Cross River, Donna Smith. You have not. Seriously. Seriously. And is it because she's rich and single and her father? Probably both reasons. That is why she thinks she can buy my time. She's the one that's been calling you. She's the one that's been calling me. You don't expect me to be calling her. She tells me she's come to Nigeria uh, for holidays simply because of Moa. And she's paying you. Come on, man. You're a businessman. Hey, now. I'm your good old manager. Come on, let me fix a deal. A deal? With whom? Have her number. Please. Hell no. I'm not going to give you her number because I don't want no bullshit deal from you. Come on, please. We can make something from... Come on, money talks and bullshit does the remaining things. Come on, man. Give me the girl's goddamn number. A chance. All right? Just forget it. If that is it, I'm out of here. See ya. No, no. Come on. Come on. Let me have the number. He had his attitude. Shoulders flying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I, you know, I didn't, I, look at that. I have no time for with all of that. But like, ooh, can you pass me my phone, darling? Sure. Ooh, no number. Hmm. Uh, yeah, hello? Who's speaking? Uh, this is um, Didi. Who's Didi? Didi. Ah. Derek. Douglas. Oh, oh my God! Hi. Um, just uh, hold on. Let me talk. Um, okay. Are you there? Uh, I'm parked. We can talk now. Um, how are you? How are you feeling? I'm cool. Nice, nice. And you? Thank you. Thank you. Um, some guy called me. Someone called Melvin. Yeah, yeah, that's my manager. Um, he says you can't make it to Calabar. Is that true? No, no, I can't. You see, I, I, I can't because I need to be doing some stuff, you know. Uh, but I'm, I'm sure he told you I was going to be in that is, is that a better place? Sure, wherever you say, you know, anytime you say. I just want to meet you. <laughs> sure, no problem. Tell you what, uh, Lily, I, I have to go now because somebody's waiting for me. All right? I just wanted to call and let you know just to that I'm ready and willing to meet with you. Okay? Okay. Um, it was really nice talking to you. Thanks for calling. Right on. Have a good one. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he just called! <laughs> oh my God! Everything she wants in a man He's a cutie She's got money You're still awake? And I am hungry. It's already past 11 p.m. Preston. What am I supposed to do? And I am very... I thought I'd make quicker oats for you in the evening. And I told you used to bring back food from the office. Oh, yes. I used to bring food from the office. But if you have noticed, for some days now, I haven't done that. Why? By the office. No, no. I mean, yes, yes, but I'll sort it out very soon. When? Very soon, firstly. Let's go and see how we can solve your hunger problem. Auntie, do you call Auntie Juliet? Lately, I saw her in my dream. You did? So, what did you dream about now? Come here, big man. Precisely. Alright, sir. Girl, four will be staying in the suite. Okay. 
Okay, so oh, the rest is there's yeah. no problem about the rooms, sir. Okay. But the suite, sir. The VC is still around. No, no, the VC will be checking out today. Alright, sir. I'll then inform the accounts people to prepare. Sir. Just do that exactly, okay? Alright, sir. So one more thing, sir. The girl on suspension is actually built to resume today. Okay. And she's reported already. I don't know what to do, sir. Mm. Just do whatever you feel like doing, okay? But just make sure you don't get her back. Is that clear? All right, sir. All right, sir. And uh, one more thing. Yes, sir. Please understand the caliber of guests we expect here this evening. And don't do anything that will discredit us. I won't, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. And have a nice day. Thank you, you sir. There's been a delay. Well, the organizers of the event um, pushed my arrival for tomorrow because they believe that the governor will not be in the state until tomorrow. Which means I arrive tomorrow and the forum will not be happening. It's been pushed for another two days. I spoke with Melvin yesterday and he didn't tell me anything about it. Well, I'm just over a minute ago. That's when I got that phone call. You know, um, Lily. We will meet tomorrow, okay? I'm a bit up here. <laughs> Everything is going down the drain. Um, could you, you know, could we keep our meeting irrespective of what the state government is planning? If or what happens, we will meet tomorrow, okay? Okay. Um, I'll be here. I promise I'm not going to let you wait for long. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, it's his. Who's that? Um, it's Mr. Melvin, sir. What up, chap? What's happening? Now, no more tomorrow morning. Melvin, Melvin, please listen to me. I don't like it when you push me around. Can you just make up your mind what you want to do? Just, just make up your mind on the schedule and stop pushing me around. I hate it. Victor, there has been another change of plan. You have to pack everything again. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. I hate this. Let's see. Arrange the bags, the shoes, and hang up my coats. Yes, ma'am. Oh, sorry. Um, let's see, to the reception and you turn to your right, that's where the restaurant is. Yes ma'am. And the bar? Oh, it's just, I just sent the restaurant. What is that? A stain? Is that a stain? On the bed sheets? <laughs> My goodness. Look, I expect you to change the bed sheets. Clean the bathroom, clean the bleeding living room, clean under the bed, everywhere, because I will not take dirt. Do you understand me? I do. I will not sleep in filth. Do you understand me? Yes. Sir. Good. Brilliant. Oh. It's just too touchy for crying out loud. Just because of a simple, small stain she saw on her bed sheet, she branded the whole room unkempt and demanded we clean I hope this supervisor is watching. Because nobody will expect me to work late and they ask me to come back as early as 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. I won't do. Calm down. These kind of people, I love working for them. Anything they ask me to do, I will do. Because finally, when I'm leaving, something will enter my pocket and I'll go home smiling. Easy for you to say. Me, with Presley alone at home, Jesus. This one 
of Miss Vivian Westwood. One of the biggest designers we have. Ah, Gina. $1,000. Huh? I'm serious. I'm lying. I'm not lying, no. Just look at the stuff. Look at it. Feel it now. Feel it. See, see how it is. I felt it. Hey. Gina. Gina, wait this thing for me. Please. Me, you have body. Wait. Let me see. Are you out of your mind? Gina, just wait. Just wait before she comes. Nobody will you see. Wait. Just wait. I read the room. I'm not in this thing. Feel this thing for me now, please. When did this uh, last supplies come in? Um, on 19th, sir. 19th of the... Yes, sir. Bye, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, one minute, please. Are you insane? Come on, go. He's a star. She's obsessed. You're very welcome, sir. Oh, you're yeah. very fine, sir. She you're you're welcome to me. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Room service. Room service. So, can you find your way back? Very right, good. Just give the key to Victor. Yeah? Victor, you heard? Room service. Room service. Room service. Can I help you? Yeah, we met last year in the at Linda Hunter's child's dedication. Linda is my sister. Oh my god! You're not serious! I am. Where is she? She's in the city here now. She's been here for close to two months. Oh my goodness. You have to take me to her. I will, I will. Good. Very welcome, sir. Thank you. I hope you have my PDS key as well. Oh, certainly, sir. Right now. Yeah. And, uh, uh, Lydia Smith, the ex governor's daughter, is she in? Oh, the ex governor's daughter. Yeah, yes. Yes, sir. Nice, nice. What's her room number? 215. Yeah, 215. Mine is 219. Yeah. Great. This way, sir. You're right. Very welcome. Obsessed. He is everything she wants in a man. He's a cute. She's got money. Yeah, feel. Are you here? Okay, I didn't know you were My people will refer to as Enenepe Jolo. Look at the figure. Hey, well, Gina, you're beautiful. Forget the money, no deal. If money they are big, because they shine. Oh, well, let me see this one. Move it now. Wait. Wait. She's back. She's the one. You to get me into trouble. Help me, help me, help me. Wait. Let me check. She's looking. Get this thing out.
keep me aware how beautiful you are. Beautiful. Thank you. And obviously you weren't expecting me tonight, so you're getting dressed to meet up with somebody else. I'm sorry to tell you, sorry to interrupt, that man has to wait because I'm here and I'm taking you for dinner right now. Well, excuse me, sir. I'm sorry to you, but I think you should oblige my disrespect. No, I'm not going to take no for an answer. We're going. Madam, 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 you look very beautiful and no one would want to let go. Let me go here with you. Actually, please. Oh, God, I'm sorry, madam. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, Melvin. That gentleman meets me here. I'll yes. take you away. And then, um, <laughs> let me get a back down. I think the slim one will be beautiful. No, I don't know. Hey! Oh, <laughs> I greet! <laughs> I greet, sir! Uh, almost, what do you want here? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, sir. Almost, I, I have to take a question. What are you doing here? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah! That is a full flash. I said, look at Fufu for Fufu has drink for you. Yeah. So I don't put a break and call. Can you go kitchen? Eh, yeah, put that for me there. Yeah. Like that. Uh, for kitchen like yes, this. Yes, almost. Just go, eh? Hey! <laughs> almost. Yay. Thank you. She's <laughs> 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 so bad, I like this. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. this meat for such a long time. That's what I'm trying to make you understand. Can it just wait for a while? Is it too much to ask for? Yes, it is. You can't wait. Look, just meet the terms of our arrangement. That's all I ask. You paid me for us to meet, right? So can we meet? 